In this video, I want to talk about uh, a couple of effective ways of removing uh, the patterns from your wood once you've completed the cut on the scroll saw. And if you followed the other video where I talked about applying patterns, you know that I used the spray adhesive to stick the pattern to the wood. And in a couple of cases, I used the clear box tape over the pattern to, as we talked about in that video, lubricate the blade. In the other case, I actually applied the blue painter's tape to the wood and then attach the pattern on top of the blue painter's tape. So let's start with that one first uh, because it's probably the easiest to demonstrate. Once you get done, uh, the pattern removal for uh, any piece that you use the, uh, the blue painter's tape is generally pretty easy to get off. All you have to do is get a corner started and once you do, because all you're trying to do is just remove the tape from the wood, it has a very low bond to the wood and it'll usually just come off just very easily like that. Okay, and now we can just move, remove the other piece of tape. And the reason that some scrollers prefer this method is because it is so easy to remove the pattern when you get done. There's also usually a very low, small amount of glue residue left on the wood when you get it off. Uh, that's another advantage to the blue painter's tape. So that's a very effective way of applying and removing your patterns from a uh, piece of wood. Now in the other scenario, another technique that people use a lot is again with the clear box tape. And a lot of times when you get done and you get ready to remove this pattern, of course the box tape is over the top of the wood. And when you yank off the tape, the paper residue will remain on the piece of wood and sometimes it can be very difficult depending on how much spray adhesive you use to get this off of the wood. Uh, the, probably the easiest way, if you don't mind using a chemical, is to get yourself some mineral spirits. Now the mineral spirits uh, will release the, the uh, glue from the wood very effectively and all you have to do is just take a small rag and some of this mineral spirits and actually just dab it onto the paper part of the pattern pretty liberally and once you let that sit there just a second generally that paper will just almost fall off of the wood and you can see it came off really easily uh, so what would have taken a lot of sanding and a lot of fingernail scraping to get off uh, the mineral spirits took it right off uh, now, in this case, the uh, spray adhesive that we use generally will leave quite a bit of glue residue on the wood. And again, once you get the pattern off, you can use your mineral spirits to pretty much wipe the rest of that glue res uh, residue off the wood. And you'll end up with a pretty clean piece of wood. If you don't like that technique, another technique that I have used from time to time is a heat gun. And again, I've got a piece of wood here that has the pattern applied to it with the box tape over the top of it. And I have a inexpensive heat gun here that I picked up from Harbor Freight. And you can actually take this heat gun, heat the pattern until the glue starts to melt. And a lot of times the pattern will just literally roll right back off of the wood. Sometimes it just depends on how much heat you use. You do want to be careful not to overheat the wood and burn it. I've done that a few times. Uh, but this is also an effective way of removing the pattern. And you can see that the pattern just peeled right off. And that would have actually been a pretty difficult uh, pattern to remove because I intentionally uh, applied a lot of glue to that, more than it needed, uh, just to make it hard to get off. So it would have uh, pulled off the same way as the other one did, where I pulled off the tape and the, and the paper remained. Same thing would have happened there. So there's a few techniques for getting the pattern off the wood when you get done. Uh, again, if you want to uh, uh, remove the glue residue on there, you can go back with some sandpaper and take it off, or again, the mineral spirits works real well. 